This is a video showing the initial connection of the NRX100W to WaveLogger X software on a PC through a USB connection. If you do not have WaveLogger X installed on your PC, you can download it from keyins.com. For this video, we will be using an NRX100W with the CASD16 GSD card, an NRT08P with two K-tight thermocouples, the included USB cable, and the NRXU1 power supply for AC wall power. You can also supply power to the NR through battery power with the NRE15 and NRXB1, or a 24V DC power with an external power supply. First we have the hardware setup. Ensure that the DIP switches on the top of your NRX100W are set to the desired NRID position. If you only have one unit, we recommend keeping all four switches in the off position for ID0. This will turn off other features that could interfere with our initial setup process. Connect your measurement unit to your NRX100W. For a secure connection, tighten the set screw into the NRX100W main unit. You can attach your sensors at this time. If you have remote units or environmentally resistant units, connect those at this time as well. Open the SD card slot and insert your SD card. Connect your NRX to the PC with the USB cable. Connect the NRXU1 power supply. Turn on the power switch on the NRX100W. Once everything is connected, you can expect to see a green LED light up on top of the NRX100W, a blinking green LED light for the SD card, and a solid green LED light for USB. Open WaveLogger X. When opening the software for the first time, you will be asked to select a device, NRX100 or NR500. You will want to select NRX100W for the unit we have connected. This sets our startup interface. We can change this setting along with others in the system configuration setting. To open the system configuration settings, click on the folder icon in the top left of WaveLogger X. Select Environment, then System Configuration Setting. Common settings that we recommend are adjusting the unit display settings to the P-type, selecting your preferred temperature unit, and ensuring that you have the correct startup interface. You have now completed the system configuration settings.
At any point, if you want to check or troubleshoot your connection, you can click the Connection Check button in the Home tab. If you are not properly connected, you will see a window with Connection Failed. To resolve this, open the Connection Setting button. Make sure to have the correct connection target, interface, and ID of master unit selected. If you have one NRX100W that you are connecting over USB, it is easiest to set these as NRX100 USB and ID of NRX100 USB 0. If you are properly connected, you will see a communication window that displays system settings and connected measurement units. This is the end of the initial connection.